My goal for my smart home is to have all my devices either matter compatible, ideally matter over thread, or at the very least home kit over thread. But the truth is I still have a few devices that I really like that aren't natively compatible with Apple Home. And that's where Homebridge comes in. Homebridge is a tool that allows you to connect your smart home devices that don't officially work with Apple Home. It runs on a server on your local network 24 seven. In my case, I bought a Raspberry Pi and I installed Homebridge by following the instructions. Think of Homebridge as a translator. Some devices speak a different language and Homebridge help bridge that gap in bringing those devices into the Apple Home ecosystem. For example, I have this cheap smart plug that I bought online that doesn't support Apple Home. And normally I would just throw it out or give it to somebody using a compatible ecosystem or app. But with Homebridge, I can integrate it into Apple Home and even run automations. All I need to do is find the right plugin, if it exists, and follow the setup instructions. That's how Homebridge works. It has a strong community of users who create plugins for devices they want to integrate and they share those with others. That's just scratching the surface though. There are also plugins that let you create advanced automations using conditions. One of my favorite one is the virtual switch plugin. Let me give you an example how you can use it. Let's say we have guests over and I don't want my usual nighttime automation to trigger. I can create a virtual switch in Homebridge, let's call it guest mode. So if you have an automation set for 10 p.m. that dims all your lights, I can add a condition to check if that guest mode switch is on. If it is, the light stays bright as if nothing is scheduled. And that's the beauty of Homebridge. It gives you control and flexibility. You can create as many virtual switches as you need and even add timers to some of them. Now that you have a quick overview of what Homebridge is, I wanna show you how I brought one of my favorite devices into Apple Home, my Dyson air purifier fan. I'm not a fan of sleeping with a ceiling fan on, but the Dyson tower fan is a must in my house. I love it. I really hope Dyson joins the matter ecosystem so I can eventually integrate it without any workaround with Homebridge. What I love about it is that it's a five in one device. I get humidity, temperature reading, air quality data, air purification, and fan control all within the Apple Home. It's definitely pricey, I won't lie, but both my girlfriend and I agree that it is worth it. And if we ever broke, I'll definitely buy another one without hesitation. Since it doesn't work with Apple Home natively, I use Homebridge to bring it into my ecosystem and I set up automation using the data it provides. In this video, I wanna walk you through how I added and how the whole process works with Homebridge. So once you're heading to Homebridge homepage and you have already your Raspberry Pi or wherever you have it set up, it's gonna look like this and you're gonna see all your information. You just head into plugins and here's where you're gonna search the plugin that you're looking for. So what I did was I searched Dyson. I make sure that my Dyson purifier was actually compatible or supported so you look it up there and then you pretty much follow all the instructions that it requires. Um, it's actually very simple. You do the IP address of the device that you already have in your smart home. The, the fan actually has to be smart in order for it to be added into Apple Home. So then you add all the information like the serial number, the credential. Then here you can ask some of the information like if you want your NAD mode to be exposed or your continuous monitor or your exposed to temperature. So all those things is what I did in order for it to come into Apple Home and then I can run automation based on that. And once you do that, you just hit save at the bottom and you wait for the purifier to show up in your smart home. You gotta remember that first you have to bring Homebridge into Apple Home as a hub and then everything else that you add as a plugin gets added into Apple Home. So imagine it as a main central hub and then all the plugins are just accessories. And that's how I brought my Dyson into my Apple Home ecosystem. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what's possible when you start exploring beyond native integrations. And I'm just getting started. There's still a bunch of other devices in my smart home that aren't HomeKit compatible out of the box. And I'll be showing you how I integrate those in my coming videos. From little gadgets that I have for a while to some more unique devices. I'll try to walk you step by step and how I integrate them into my smart home. Now, just to be clear, the goal of using Homebridge isn't to encourage you to go out and buy a bunch of unsupported devices. The real value of Homebridge is, is helping you make the most of what you already have at home. Maybe it is an old smart plug, a fan, or a device you've been using with a separate app and always wish you could bring it into Apple Home. Homebridge gives you that opportunity without having to start or even throw things away. 
If you found this helpful, feel free to leave a comment or a question. I would love to hear what devices you're trying to integrate. And if you're into smart home automation or HomeKit or just making tech work better for you, go ahead and subscribe. I got a lot more content coming soon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.